Hi, uh, this uh, this uh, question is for for Minister uh, Dix. It's it's in uh, relation to the allegations that, that you were asked about on Friday in relation to the the pregnant mother in Kitimat uh, and Mary Ellen Tapelafond has sort of weighed in, and I'm wondering what the progress is on the task force that that resulted uh, after her report. Has that task force been set up, and have those Indigenous liaison positions been uh, implemented in the health authorities? Uh, thank you very much, and first of all, welcome, uh, Katie, to your new position and uh, uh, here in Victoria. And you'll expect, uh, I think, uh, this week, uh, the release from uh, Dr. Turpel Lafon, the full data report, and I'll be providing an update on those questions at that time. I think the progress has been really good. As you know, uh, we have a new Associate Deputy Minister of Health, uh, Don Thomas, who is uh, who's uh, Vice President of Vancouver Island Health Authority, who's come in and taken leadership of the provincial government part of those initiatives. We have all of the health authorities fully engaged and the First Nations Health Authority and the First Nations Health Council playing a, a crucial role in all that. So there's significant progress and I'll be reporting uh, uh, this week uh, in some detail on that. And so uh, if uh, I think in the next couple of days you'll get answers to those questions and quite a few more. Do you have a follow-up, Katie? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, so can, can you say specifically if those Indigenous liaison positions have been created? Because, again, that's the family is saying that the Kitimat General Hospital should have uh, uh, an Indigenous liaison person because they're concerned both about the, the pre-care and the after-care for this particular mother. I agree, and uh, I think uh, uh, we are proceeding with uh, hiring of 32 liaison positions, five in each health authority and two in Providence Healthcare, so that's 32. And I'll give you, I'll be giving you a specific update on that, but I think I strongly believe that adding those liaison positions, including all, uh, in addition to other work being done, will, will greatly strengthen uh, the response of health authorities to addressing and developing anti-racism as a guiding principle in those, uh, in those health authorities. So I think those positions are important. And as I say, in uh, this week, you'll expect an update on all of the issues related and all of the follow-up and all of the actions that have been taken since the uh, report was put into place. I had the opportunity to report on uh, many of those at uh, the national conference that was done on uh, uh, anti-Indigenous racism in healthcare led by the federal government this past week, this past Thursday, and I'll be reporting in detail on that. As Dr. Turpelafon reports, I think, um, really the extraordinary, very, uh, very challenging uh, data that has been developed through her comprehensive report on racism against Indigenous people in our health care system. So uh, we'll have the details on that soon uh, in terms of who's been hired, what the process is. But uh, the expectation we're proceeding and created and funded 32 uh, places. And we'll have more information for you later this week.